Hey guys, this is Coach Fajalski from Cousins Martial Arts. We're going to be doing our tiny ninjas uh, right now, okay? So, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves warmed up, okay? Alright, so let's get down. We're going to get on our feet and our elbows, alright? So get down here on our feet and elbows, and this is called our plank position. All we're going to do is we're going to reach up with one of our arms, okay? We're going to do this ten times. Let's count with Coach, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, guys. All right, Coach Rutt's going to come out here. He's going to get you through the next one, okay? Hi, class. How you doing? Our next exercise is going to be a jack in the box. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get in what we typically know as our horse stance. And we're going to put our hands up and we're going to squat down. And each time as we squat down, I want you to count to three. And just like a jack in the box, I want you to think about coming down, down, down. And surprise! Come back down each time. We're going to go through this 10 times. So let's begin. And down, one, two, three, surprise! And one, two, three, surprise! do some pull-ups with our feet, okay? So we're going to lay down on our backs, all right? From here, I'm going to take my hands, put my hands out beside me, and I'm going to shoot my feet over top of my head. We're going to do this five times, okay? My feet are going to come up on my knees, and I'm going to come over top of my head, all right? So let's count with coach. Ready? One, two, Some fun with some Spider Man crawls. Right. So, this next one, class, is going to be a fun one. We're going to do it's just like Spider Man. We're getting into our little web crawler position, okay? So, we're going to get down and we're going to be low to the ground. And we're going to support our weight and we're going to walk forward by bringing our other leg forward and down and down. And then, if you have limited space, we can go backwards. And down. And down. Okay? Now I want you to try this going back and forth and count. So, one, two, three, and four. And let's go back and forth and do this ten times total. Okay? talk about punches for a moment okay so let's get in our good guard stance we want to think about keeping our fists tight our elbows to a side and we want to always look at where we're punching okay so for the first exercise we're going to do here we're going to work on slap hands so coach is going to come on over and help me out with this so we're gonna play a game, you can use your mom or dad, brother or sister, and what we're gonna do is a partner will put their hands up like this, and we want to match. So if my partner says left, I'm gonna to punch to that hand, okay? So what you wanna do is see if you can get five right in a row, okay? So we're gonna show you an example. Go ahead. Left. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right, 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 left, left, right, 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 right. Nice job. Okay. So as you can see, this 
this is a fun little game to be able to practice your punches, okay? Now, we've got another one that we can try at home. Now, it, you may not have a balloon, uh, which we recommend, but if not, you can use a ball just like this. And what I want, to work on, want you to work on is just being able to punch the ball and then catch it without touching the ground. Can't let it touch, okay? So, so for an example, going to punch, catch. And let's do this five times. And punch, catch. Punch, catch. Punch, catch. And punch, catch. Now, if you want, you can even practice, if you have a partner, you can toss it back and forth and practice hitting it that way too, okay? All right. All right, guys, now, I know we have our testing coming up as soon as we get back to classes. We're gonna have some classes before we do our test, but I do wanna make sure you're ready, okay? So we have a couple definitions that are on our test. Our first definition is control. Now, control means to be in charge of our actions, okay? So when coach says to be in charge of our actions, I want you guys to be able to say, that's control, okay? Now, the other definition that we have on our test is balance, all right? Balance means to be straight, steady, and still, okay? So when coach says to be straight, steady, and still, I want you to say, that's balance, all right? Okay, so those are the definitions that are on our test. We also have some combinations that we need to work on as well, okay? So if we get back in our stance, we put our hands up by our cheeks, okay? Our very first combination we're gonna go over is punch, punch, hook. Okay, so let's say it with coach, ready? Punch, punch, hook. Okay, we worked on that hook last time. Let's try it again, ready? Punch, punch, hook. Good job, let's try it one more, okay? Ready, punch, punch, hook. Nice job. All right, now our other combination that we have to do is kick, hook, punch. Okay, so we were working on that kick yesterday by dragging our leg across sideways. I want you guys to be practicing at home with your kick, okay? So we get back in our stance, I have our hands up. We're gonna do a kick, so kick, then we follow that up with a hook, and then a punch, okay? Let's try it all together. Kick, hook, punch. Kick, hook, Punch, one more time. Kick, hook, punch, okay? Now, if you'd like, you can have your parent hold the bag for you, okay? So if they come over holding the bag, that way you can practice on uh, a bag. If you guys don't have a bag, you can always use a pillow or a cushion of some kind too, okay? So our first combination was punch, punch, hook. Okay, so the bag can be held pretty stationary um, with a, a cushion or a pillow. That works just fine too. Punch, punch, hook. Okay, but for the other combination, the kick, hook, punch, it's going to be important to turn the pillow, the cushion, the bag, anything just slightly to the side. We want to emphasize that with this kick, it comes across the side. So Coach Rudd here is going to hold the bag a little bit off to the side, so that way when I kick, I hit the bag. Then he's gonna turn it facing the other way, so that way when I come across the hook, it comes back from the other direction. Then he can hold it straight on for that punch, okay? So once again, he holds it to the side for the kick. He turns it to the other side for the hook, and then puts it straight on for that punch, okay? And like I said, a pillow or a cushion of some kind also works very well for this, okay? Now, you guys have done a great job today, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm ourselves down, okay? So Coach Rod's gonna get us started off with some warm downs, okay? Okay, so the first stretch we're gonna do is we're going to put both our hands straight up in the air, and we're gonna bring our right arm back, and we're gonna catch our elbow, and we're gonna pull back for 10 seconds, beginning now. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Good. Now bring your hands back up and we're going to pull the left elbow back and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, together. And now we're going to do the knees, knee wobbles. Okay, so we're going to put our feet together, knees together, and we're gonna make big circles. And let's do five big circles both ways. So round, and round, and round, and round, and round. Now let's go the opposite direction. Round, 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 and round. Okay. All right, guys, and we're gonna finish with just a couple extra warm downs here, okay? So let's get into our horse stance, okay? Put our hands on our hips. We're gonna do some hip circles. So we're gonna draw a big circle with our head, okay? So let's start drawing that big circle. There you go, draw that big circle there. That's it, that's it. Keep it up. Couple more, couple more. Ready? We're gonna go the other way. Go the other way. Do a big circle in the other direction, okay? Draw that big circle with your head. That's it. That's it. Nice job. One more. Good work. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna finish off with a nice little stretch here. So we're gonna sit down, put our legs out in front of us, okay? Now, from here, we wanna keep our knees nice and straight. So we're gonna reach down, try and touch our toes. Okay, we're gonna count to 10 together, all right? So we reach down towards our toes, count with coach, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice job, okay? So that's the end of our Tiny Ninjas class for today, um, for this virtual session. I really miss all of you guys, okay? I'm super looking forward to having classes and having more fun with you in the future. Please make sure that you're taking pictures of your student working out or videos of them. You can upload them to Facebook or you can send them to me in an email, okay? If you don't know where to email them to, you can feel free to call here. Let me know. I will help you out through that, okay? So I look forward to seeing you again next week, okay? Have a great day, guys.